So how do you build self-management and self-awareness? Do you know that information that comes at you influences your thoughts and your perceptions? Your perception influences your beliefs. Your beliefs influence your emotions. Your emotions influence your decisions. And your decisions produce your actions and your, out your actions produce your outcomes. And so for self-awareness, just get a, an emotional logbook, right? Calibrate it every hour. Say you wake up at 6 a.m., 6 to 7, 7 to, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, all the way to 11 p.m. when you sleep and calibrate your moods every hour. So how do you feel every hour? Note it down. Now ask yourself, what decisions do those emotions make you make? Then what actions do you take based on those emotions and what are the outcomes? But if you want to manage those emotions, then you now have to ask yourself, what belief created that emotion? What perception or what thought created that uh, belief? And what was the source of the information? You have to manage your gates, your eye gates, your ear gates, which are a function of the things that you experience, the things that you see, and the things that you hear. The things you see, the things you hear, the things you experience influence what you think. What you think influences what you believe. What you believe influences your emotions. So for self-awareness, right, it is important for you to note that. For self-regulation, it's important for you to note your emotions influence your decisions. And your decisions influence your actions and your actions produce your outcomes. And so it, awareness is all about the source. It's all about how you feel, right? Name it, identify it, identify the source. Then management is about the actions that you take, the decisions you take, and the outcomes of your life. So for awareness, track the source, track the thoughts, track the perceptions, track the emotions every hour. For management, track the emotions, track the decisions, track the actions, and track the outcomes every hour. Then ask yourself, what do you want to replace that with? Replace what you see, where you locate yourself, the things you experience, what you hear. Replace your thoughts, replace your perceptions with a positive opposite. Replace the beliefs that you have with a positive opposite. Replace the emotions that you feel with a positive opposite. Naturally, your decisions will be positive, your actions will be positive, and your outcomes will be positive.